This is question 16 from the 2008 calculator paper. Here I've been asked to express 252 as a product of its prime factors. So, 252 as a product of its prime factors. This little phrase here, product of its prime factors, simply means to find the combination of prime numbers that you can multiply together to make 252. So what combination of prime numbers could you multiply together that will equal 252? Now the way that I like to do this is I like to draw a factor tree. And to draw a factor tree I'm simply going to write out how could I make 252 by multiplying two numbers together. So how could I make 252 by multiplying two numbers together? I could say that's 126 times 2. Now whenever I get to a prime number I'm going to circle it. So 2 is a prime number so I circle it. Now what two numbers could I make uh, multiply together to make 126? I could say that this is 63 times 2. 2 is a prime number, so I'm going to circle it. 63. How could I make 63 by multiplying two numbers together? Well, I could say that's 9 times 7. 7 is a prime number, so I'm going to circle it. Then lastly, 9. How could I multiply 9? Uh, what two numbers could I multiply together to make 9, I should say? That's going to be 3 and 3. So 3 is a prime number, so I circled both of those. Once I've closed off all possible avenues with prime numbers, then I'm finished. So what I could say then is my final answer here is going to be 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 7. So the combination of prime numbers that I could multiply together to make 252 would be 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 7. And that there would be your final answer. You can also check if your answer is correct. Um, first of all, by making sure that all of the numbers here are prime numbers. And then secondly, if I multiply these together, it should make 252. So let's check that. 7 times 3 gives me 21. Times 3 gives me 63. Times 2 gives me 126. Times 2, which gives me 252. So that's going to be correct. Part B. Part B says James thinks of two numbers. He says the highest common factor of my two numbers is 3, the lowest common multiple of my numbers is 45. So first off I've got to think about, well the lowest common multiple is going to be 45. So that means that, it's <coughs> that the, the numbers are going to be, um, going to have a multiple where it is 45. So let's think about what numbers they could be. Well I could have 1, 45 is in the 1 times table. I could also say that 3, 45 is in the 3 times table, 45 is in the 5 times table, 45 is in the 9 times table, 45 is in the 15 times table, and 45 is in the 45 times table. I could also say that all of these here are the factors of 45. Now, <coughs> let's, take, let's have a little think about this. So my highest common factor of my two numbers is 3. Well, this immediately eliminates some of my numbers. So it's going to be a combination of, or a pair of these two numbers, but the highest common factor has to be 3 of, the, of those pair. Now, we, there are a couple of numbers here that don't have a factor of 3. One of those is 1, so it can't involve 1. The other one is 5. 3 doesn't fit into 5, so it can't be 3. Uh, it can't be 5, sorry. So now I've got left. I've got 3, 9, 15, and 45. So let's have a think about 3. Let's think about 3. If I had 3 and 9, well, my highest common factor between 3 and 9 would be 3, but my lowest common multiple would be 9, so it can't be 3 and 9. Let's try 3 and 15. Well, 3 and 15, again, the highest common factor is going to be 3, but this time the lowest common multiple is 15, it needs to be 45. Lastly, what about 3 and 45? Well, the lowest um, the highest common factor is 3, and the lowest common multiple, well that would be 45. So, I could say that my answer could be 3 and 45. That's one possible answer. But let's check if there are any others. So let's team up, um, let's team up some of the other numbers with, with um, so we've, we've dealt with 3. What about 9? <coughs> so 9 the and let's take a look let's pair 9 up with 15 to begin with so 9 
the highest common factor for 9 and 15 that's going to be 3 the lowest common multiple of 9 and 15 well the lowest common multiple is going to be 45 so it could also be 9 and 15 as well could it also be 9 and 45 um, no because the highest common factor for 9 and 45 would be 9 could it be 15 and 45 it couldn't be 15 and 45 because the highest common factor for 15 and 45 would be 15 so my only two possible answers I could have 3 and 45 or 9 and 15